What if I told you I knew the secret to living a long, healthy life? What if I could guarantee you a century of time to live however you wanted? Unfortunately, no such guarantee exists, but I can tell you how to increase your chances of living such a life. When my roommate told me about a woman who lived to be 122, I was intrigued. I wanted to know what she did to live so long, so I researched this woman and others like her. I found that if I wanted a chance to live as long as she had, I needed to eat, drink, and be merry. I'm going to explain to you why drinking red wine, eating dark chocolate, and laughing daily contribute to a healthy heart and a healthy life. According to the heartfoundation.org, heart disease is the number one cause of death for both men and women, claiming approximately one million lives annually. This is more than all cancers combined. We all know someone or will know someone who will or has been affected by some sort of heart problem. We ourselves may even be affected in the future, and this is why we need to start taking precautions now. Jean Calmet is a person we should all strive to mimic at least in the way we take care of ourselves. CNN did a report on this incredible woman who was born in Arles, France in 1875 and died in 1997 when she was 122. To put this into perspective, she was born 10 years after the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. If she had lived three more years, she would have seen two centuries. Because of her long life, Jean was able to experience a lot of things. She met Vincent Van Gogh when she was a teenager. When she was 85, Jean started taking fencing lessons, and at 100, she was still able to ride a bicycle. At age 118, she made it into the Guinness Book of Records as the oldest living person with authentica authenticated documentation of her birth date. She outlived her husband, who died in 1942, her only child, who died in 1934, and her only grandson, who died in 1963. How did she do this? And how can we experience a life as long as hers? CNN reported that Jean credited her longevity to port wine, a diet rich in olive oil, and her sense of humor. The New York Times also did a report on Jean, noting she used to eat more than two pounds of chocolate a week. <laughs> it seems like she had the right idea. But I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy bottles of red wine, or that you should go and buy the leftover Easter chocolate. I am, however, suggesting that you listen to how wine, chocolate, and laughter can improve your heart and well-being and give you a chance to live as long as Jean. Clearly, I can't condone those of you who are not 21 to drink red wine, but eating grapes and drinking 100% grape juice has the same effect on your heart, which according to Martha Grogan, a Mayo Clinic cardiologist, includes reducing, reducing the risk of blood clots reducing the risk of bad cholesterol, preventing damage to the blood vessels in your heart, and maintaining a healthy blood pressure. But does it have to be red wine? Will white wine or some other type of alcohol work? To be honest, it will. Liquor and beer have both been shown to increase the good cholesterol, which also decreases the bad cholesterol. However, drinking either red wine or grape juice produces more benefits because the antioxidants, resveratrol, and flavonoids are found within the grape skin, which is obviously used to make both of these drinks. One of the benefits that can't be found in the other alcohols is the, re is the reduction of plaque formation. This ensures that blood is able to flow more freely throughout the body. Chocolate also has the ability to enhance the health of your heart. Not just any chocolate, though. It needs to be dark chocolate. This is because dark chocolate has a higher concentration of cocoa, which is a polyphenol that contains these heart-healthy antioxidants. An article on Livestrong.com says dark chocolate has a positive impact on vascular health, including lowering blood pressure, increasing blood flow to the heart, and reducing cholesterol. Each one of these benefits will lower your risk of future heart problems. Even though laughter doesn't contain antioxidants or flavonoids, it does have a positive effect on your heart and state of mind. Laughter in enhances your intake of oxygen, which stimulates the heart and allows for better blood flow. Based on a study presented at the American College of Sports Medicine's 56th annual meeting, this blood flow also, allow, also lowers blood pressure. Another benefit to laughter is the release of endorphins, which are neurotransmitters that give you a happy feeling. This is similar to the feeling you get after or shortly or during or shortly after exercising. According to scientificamerica.com, 
Researchers believe true laughter causes physical exhaustion in the abdominal muscles and in turn triggers endorphin release. Because of the low blood pressure and feeling of euphoria produced by such laughter, your stress levels also decrease. All of these side effects help you to live a healthier life. Jean Calmet even predicted that she would die laughing. However, drinking, eating, and laughing won't guarantee you a healthy heart. Obviously, our diet, level of exercise, as well as genetics affect the functionality of our hearts. The suggestions I've given you alone will not make heart disease a thing of the past, but they will certainly decrease any future heart complications you may have. There is no reason that heart disease should ever be the number one cause of Americans when simple steps like drinking, eating, and laughing can be taken to help prevent these heart problems. You do have to keep one thing in mind though, moderation. Do not overindulge in drinking alcohol and eating chocolate because too much of either of these will have a negative effect on your health. Instead, limit yourself to one glass of red wine or grape juice, one piece of dark chocolate a day. Laughter, on the other hand, doesn't have a limit, but our lives do. Every 33 seconds, someone in the United States dies of cardiovascular disease. Let's not be a part of the statistic. Let's start protecting our hearts now. It's not that hard. As I said before, eat, drink, and be merry. Have a glass of red wine or grape juice, eat a piece of dark chocolate, and read the jokes on your Laffy Taffy wrappers. Then go home and make your family and friends laugh with these corny but hilarious jokes. Give them one of your extra dark chocolate kisses and tell them how they can start protecting their hearts. 